Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and it's another week in Michigan Beer News. Leading off this week's news, we finally have an answer to the question of what was going to occupy the old Roke Brewing space in Royal Oak. Eastern Market Brewing Company took over the location after Roke moved out in 2021, but it was really up in the air. It was anybody's guess as to what they were going to do there. For me, I personally thought they were going to open another side project, maybe some other different kind of style beers from a different brewery. But now we know that EMBC is opening the Lincoln Tap, which will be one of Michigan's first self-service tap rooms. Earlier this year, a bill was signed into law allowing the use of self-pour tap wall technology for bars and restaurants in Michigan, joining the rest of, I think, like 43 other states doing the same thing. The Lincoln Tap will serve as an interactive showcase for both Eastern Market and Ferndale Project. And with 30 taps, I'm, I'm sure that there might be room for a few others as well. Touch screens will allow you to pour as much or as little as you want and RFID wristbands will be used to activate the system and track the ounces poured. Expect the Lincoln Tap to open in October of 2022, and you can find out more at lincolntap.com. On to the notable releases this week. The only moderately big one, and the one seemingly with no interest at all from this audience, is Light Point Peak, which is a fall and winter version of New Holland's Light Point Low Cal, Low Carb, and Low Flavor. White ale. This time around, it seems like they threw some spices in to change up the usual, usual recipe of coconut water, raw honey, and orange peel. If you're interested on drinking light or drinking ultralight, look for this beer to show up on shelves near you wherever New Holland beer is sold. Light Point Peak, just like the Light Point regular Light Point ale, peaks at 3.7% ABV and I believe 3.2 grams of carbs. Don't quote me on that one though. While we're on the subject of new releases, it's time to look at some of those new Michigan beer labels that were submitted to the TTB this week. And just a reminder, a little, a little uh, preamble, a little warning. These are only submissions for approval, so it might be a little while before you see these beers on shelves. But we're, again, we're peering into the crystal ball. We're looking in the future to see what's coming on the pike. First up, in the case of these few Ferndale Project releases, they put a can down date in the label, so there are actually a few right now that are on shelves that you can go out and start buying. Starting out with the labels, we have Cumulus Colossus, Dreamy Drifter, and Freaky Leafy. They're all variations of double New England style IPAs using different hops as listed on the labels. Cumulus Colossus is using Citra and Columbus. Dreamy Drifter is using Chinook and Mosaic, and Freaky Leafy uses Pacific Sunrise, Muter, and Rakao. These next couple look to be July 2023 releases based on the Candon dates that are printed right on the labels. Holly Jolly July, as well as Hampy Glamper. So we're getting a little bit of advance warning on this triple IPA and double New England style IPA respectively, and when they're coming down the line. There's also a Raspberry Coconut, which is an Imperial Sour Ale, which will be released at just an undisclosed time. They didn't feel like printing it on this one. Rounding out the labels are Jolly Pumpkin with a couple Gozas with All the Way Goza and No Way Goza, both showing off a little bit of Moment Bike Fest action, as well as Who Needs an Occasion, which is a fruited sour stout. And that one sounds actually really interesting. Last but not least, looks like Shorts Ho Ho Hop It, a double IPL or an India Pale Lager. You might know it or think of it more as a double cold IPA, double... Cold IPAs and IPLs are roughly the same thing. And last but certainly not least is one that really piqued my interest. It's Icebox Cake from Bell's, which is a bourbon barrel aged oatmeal stout with cocoa, graham flour, lactose, and vanilla. It tops out at 13.4% ABV in its collaboration with Binnie's. So I'd expect it might possibly be a Binnie's only release, a Binnie's exclusive, which probably means only you far west siders or maybe you Kalamazooites, if that's even what people from Kalamaz Kalamazooans, Kalamazooans, Grand Rapiders, you might be able to pick one of those up. If you do, try to send one my way. I'd, I'd love to try that one. All right, moving on to this weekend in Oktoberfest Corner. Drafting Table Brewing Company in Wixom will be holding their Oktoberfest party on Friday, September 30th and Saturday, October 1st. If you go, say hi to my Dewey Pod Monster co-host, John Farner. If you see him out there, he's going to be pouring one of those days. I don't know which one. Jam X Brewing in St. Clair Shores holds theirs, their Oktoberfest, on Saturday, October 1st. And Eastern Market Brewing Company will be having their Oktoberfest and Stein Hoisting Contests on Sunday, October 2nd. If you're on the west side near Grand Rapids, check out Brews at Calder at Calder Plaza for some beer tasting and pro-am competitions. If you're unfamiliar, you could probably guess that's a professional amateur brewery contest, brewer contest, not a brewery contest, and that goes from 4 to 8 on Saturday, October 1st. 
On to new breweries opening. Congrats to Useless Creatures Brewing Company in downtown Three Rivers. It's taking over the location that was previously held by Kelsey Block Brewing Company. So if you're out in the Three Rivers area, give them a look. Let us know if you did go check them out. Your thoughts in the comments down below. Now on the anniversary front, as well as releasing that light point peak, New Holland will be celebrating 25 years in October, so expect to see some party plans popping up in the Michigan craft beer zeitgeist. And believe me, if I hear anything, I'll be sure to make sure that you see or hear something about it. Now on to a new feature, and that's the question of the week. These are just random questions I ask that I think about, and I wonder what your answers are. First question, where do birds sleep? Don't look it up. Don't Google it. Just give me your honest, off-the-cuff answer before you do any of that, that clicking and that researching. And that'll do it for me this week. If you've enjoyed this Michigan Beer News Blast, give me a like, subscribe if you haven't, and if you've got a friend that just told you that Bells got sold, maybe point them towards these videos so they can get some updated information right here. Also, let me know in the comments down below what kind of news you want to see from these videos going forward. This whole video series is still in its infancy, so there's still a lot of pieces getting pulled together, all from different places. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to get all the pertinent information to you guys. And and basically, your feedback will determine what changes there will be in the future, what how these videos will be shaped. If you've got a hot tip or maybe an upcoming event you want me to share, you can hit me up at drafttherapy at gmail.com or you can leave a comment down below underneath this video. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy signing off. Remember to drink craft beer, support your local breweries, and until next time, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>